Good morning. Good morning, good morning. I am hot off the airplane um, from Colorado, so flying right in in like my jammies today, which works out really good. I don't even know why I put makeup on, really, because the lounge set um, is perfect for coming hot to travel. But good morning. Come on in, join us. Please forgive my voice still. You guys remember last week, um, and that upper respiratory thing, and now it's still there, and now it's turned into snotty mess. And anyways, <laughs> I'm here, and we have a big lunch today. So who's on? Um, Tabitha said, "Can you tell me what size Missy is the wide leg denim?" I'm sure she's probably her normal size, but she'll be coming out in them today. So um, good morning from rainy Tennessee. Um, hot off the flight, my kids did not have school. They had, they had a five day weekend. Um, and then we saw that Beaver Creek got like 17 inches of snow on Sunday. And I was like, I'm, a, I'm hopping on a plane. So I took the girls, hopped on a plane. We skied a couple of days. Um, and now we're back and I'm launching a really big launch today. So, um, but nice here in Texas. It was cold, but snowy cold on the mountain. And that's perfect. That's the way it's supposed to be. So good morning from Colorado Springs. Fowler's on. Hi, Sherry. Shirley, Robin, Diane, Erica, Nancy, you guys are all popping on. So forgive me for being late. I feel like two weeks in a row now. I'm like, I'm the one that's late. But um, we have a big launch today. Lots of great things. Lots of denim we're talking about. Belt bags are back. Makeup bags are here for options for you guys. So first of all, good morning and hello for those of you tuning in for the first time. My name is Melissa, owner and designer here at graceandlace.com, a women's apparel company, um, and we make and design our own styles. So we are a brand, we're not a boutique. We actually make and create styles that are made to help you look good and feel good. Um, everything from like comfy, cozy, loungy styles um, that we're talking about today. We have Mel's. You guys, I still call these um, my favorite, their favorite plaids. Um, I think it's officially fa favorite button up top because we make them in non plaid, but I still call them favorite plaids because they truly are um, favorite plaid. I own no less than eight of those in my closet, still wear them multiple times a week. And then for a big grand entry, our wide, premium wide leg denim. Um, is back in the distressed light wash and we have two uh, not we have a non distressed a non distressed and a distressed option in a new mid wash darker mid wash color in those which we'll be talking about this is like loaded I haven't even talked about the sales yet and 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 another tea back our freedom tea this one um, many of you will remember that this was, this was another tea that was supposed to launch in the fall that was deemed lost at sea, but then um, had been found stolen basically on the black market, the whole container shipment of ours with other styles as well. So we had to completely take a loss on that style. That was the full production um, of several styles on that container. And I could not let this one go as well as the watercolor, scenic watercolor one, because they are both so fabulous that I could imagine not launching them too. So we fully remade this style, this Freedom Tea, which is back in the girlfriend fit. So we've got two sales going on today I wanna to make sure we talk about. We have our weekend deal, which is we weekend flash sale. This used to be what we called a launch day deal, but we actually have another actual launch day deal today we're gonna to talk about. So the weekend deal is that we have $20 top and $25 front slit jeans. This runs from today through the weekend. So massively marked down the front, the um, wash jeans are now 25 bucks. And this Eversoft square neck top in the two colors is 20 bucks for this weekend only. So in the green color and um, in this really pretty kind of like berry, I don't, I'm not sure exactly the color name, but um, really pretty, super soft, nice and stretchy. $20 this weekend only. Then for the launch day deal is truly a launch day deal in a product that we are launching today. And that's what we're actually going to first start off kind of talking about, which I have on and probably don't want to actually talk off, take off today. But our coziest set, which is the tops and bottoms we're going to talk about, this is $15 off when you purchase, um, let me just make sure I have it right. You have to purchase the set. So the pieces are sold separately. So you can buy the top and you can buy the bottoms. If you buy the bottoms and the top of either, you can swap them either color top, either color bottom. If you buy a top and a bottom from that set, it's $15 off with, co with code COZIEST. <laughs> C-O-Z-I-E-S-T, today. Okay, so that is 
that is one day and today, one day only on that deal um, with the brand new product that launched today. So um, let's go ahead and get started. We're actually gonna start off talking about that today. So when I talk about, oh, and look, I have, I have this, this tells you right here. <laughs> $15 off when you purchase the coziest lounge set with the code coziest. Okay, um, here's the thing, lounging, I've, I've told you guys before that although we're in February. <laughs> I call January my no dress January month because for some reason, I don't know if it's coming off of the holidays or just kind of that like transition from being in a new year, but I don't like to get dressed in January. <laughs> I wear my comfy coziest and in fact, if I'm wearing anything in denim that's not like a logger or a lounger or um, like a, a legging or something like that, I was in the premium denim for three weeks straight. You can ask anyone here who's in that. But this is the type of outfit kind of carrying into like the comfy, cozy vibe of morning, weekend, morning, weekday, whatever. This is what you want to throw on and be super comfortable and cozy in. So the pieces are sold separately. Can you go to full screen for me, please? So I can show this. Okay, so you have the flowy, nice wide leg pants. It has the functional pockets here in the front. Super stretchy material, very nice, soft, drapey, loungy, flowy. It has the side slits here in the side. I have, I honestly, until right now, I had like the bare feet or slippers on with this, make this perfect for lounging at home. But the movement in this and the flow in the drape is really what gives this style like the most amazing comfort. So it's ribbed, let me see if I can, you can see it better a little bit. Two colors in this, but you can see it a little bit better, the pattern. Um, it is a ribbed knit, so it's not a jersey. It's actually a knit, but it's nice and soft and slinky. I don't know why that color is not <laughs> registering. <laughs> so it looks so, woo, okay, there we go. That looks like the right color. Oh, this light is off up here, that's why. Okay, okay. Um, I was like, why does that look so purple up, up close? Okay, but this is um, like a perfect kind of dusty, what do we call this? Dark lilac. Um, I feel like what it looks like on me right here is the, is the actual color. But you can see that you get this like kind of spaced ribbed. So it's not, oh gosh, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> there we go. That looks, I, it's just wanting to adjust for some reason. I don't know why it's doing that. But anyway, um, you can see it's slinky, drapey, nice and stretchy. This is a dolman style top. So just made to be kind of flowy. And then it has the side slits at the side. Um, and then that dolman style. Now the, the little bit of a sleeve on this transitions in direction on the sleeve part. So this is the solid color, and in the stripe, you can see that it transitions um, in the stripe pattern, like the different direction in the stripe pattern on the sleeve. Comfy, loungy, wear them together as a set. Don't have to wear them together at all. I can throw this on. I mean, I just have my launch day tank underneath this. Um, don't need to wear anything underneath it, but this can also be, obviously, does not have to just be loungewear. You can wear the top with a pair of cut-off jeans. You could wear it with crops. You could wear, I mean, this is a top that together looks like a comfy, cozy, loungy set, but the top doesn't have to be that. The pants can also be styled with a tee or a denim jacket or something like that. It's just a comfy, casual, run your errands. I mean, you just don't wanna feel tension anywhere. These aren't gonna give you tension anywhere. So elastic waistband has the pockets in the front, um, solid color. And so this one we call tan and black stripe, but like looking at it, the black is actually kind of mixed with a, a brown in the tan color. Like there's two color in this actual stripe. So you kind of get almost the feel, like the visual look of like a dark, dark brown black um, in that stripe. And then the tan is ground on that. So um, true to size, pieces sold separately. Um, I do, being that this is a dolman top and just kind of made to sit and flow with that v-neck, um, I size down in this one. So between sizes, I would go down in this one just because it's not, it's a, a cozy casual fit, not meant to be, um, like, it's not fitted in any sort of way. So between sizes, I go down. I stay in my normal size in the pants, um, which is size small. So sometimes I can wear extra small and I can wear the extra small. They're, they're stretchy all over. But I, when my comfy pants, I like to be my comfy pants. I don't want anything like too tight or snug. And so um, I prefer the small in the pants in these. Okay, questions on this one. I'm gonna bring the girls um, out in this in a second. But if you have any questions, mm. 
excuse me. Let's go ahead and bring them out. Um, oh, can you see the band? Yes, here's the band um, on the pants. It's just nice, soft, stretchy elastic, not too thick, nice and plow, <laughs> nice, <coughs> holy cow. Um, nice and stretchy, nice and comfortable. Not too tight, not too fitted, um, not too snug at all, and very stretchy. <laughs> okay, so nice and comfortable. Okay, let's bring the girls out in these. You're gonna see them in like a mix of like different options to show you um, you can wear as a set and be comfy and put together like coordinated look, or you don't have to. And I think wearing the top like this is, will be a go-to top for me because I love that you can just throw it on. You can throw it on the pair of jeans, cutoffs, crops. Um, it's just kind of one of those really easy put together and make an outfit where you're not trying type of a thing. And that's why I love it. So extra small and tailor, which is the size that I'm in as well and the size that I prefer in this. But it's one of those like throw and go, which makes um, getting dressed a lot easy, especially a lot easier, especially as we come into the spring months in this. Okay, extra small on her. Okay, and then next we have Missy. She's got the whole set on in the tan. I love the tan and black. I think that kind of just updates like a little bit more fresher look, especially for styling or being out and about. This kind of gives like a style look, if you will, but it's still equally as comfortable for lounging at home. She's in her normal size, small in the top and small in the bottom as well. And you feel like you have comfortable stretch all in those super everywhere. Comfy. Okay, super comfy. Yeah, these are not meant to be like tight or fitted. They're really meant to just be a comfortable, loose, loungy type of look and design, okay? Um, this is like, some of these tell me what, oh, just this word, this is the first thing. This is what we're talking about, the first thing. Okay, Natalie in this. And here's an option for you to see. If you wanna be, have a travel look, be comfy and cozy, running errands, out and about, picking the kids up. I mean, this is something that doesn't necessarily have to be lounge, and that's what makes it so great. Like, you can throw the pants on, tie up a little tee or tuck a little tee and throw a denim jacket on and you have a look with a pair of sneakers that is super super easy so really don't have to think much about these what you're thinking about is comfort <laughs> and how comfortable i want to be in a pair of pants a pair of lounge pants okay and natalie's in her normal size medium right okay and then michelle in these kind of same same thing michelle's in her favorite hoodie of all time <laughs> that she wears at least several times a week when it's cold here. Okay, throwing that on with a pair of lounge pants, whether at home, whether getting up in the morning, getting the kids off to school, things like that. When you want to be casual, comfy, have that nice stretch, nice room in the legs, and washes and wears really, really well, this is a great style pant for that, okay? And she's in her normal size large. Um, and then Amanda in these, and we're twinning in the set. So she... Um, Wears these, she wears this, she has this, <laughs> she owns this and wears it at home. She, that was the first thing she said. She's like, this is mine, this is what I'm wearing, this is what I want to have on. Did you talk about cutting the link? Oh, yes. yes. I was going to, because okay. she reminded me. You can cut these, raw cut this material. So if the length isn't right for you, there is this big, because she was in her normal size, extra large and both, by the way. Um, there is a big cuff on the bottom. So a couple of different options for those of you who are tall and need some extra length, we have that extra long cuff at the bottom. So you could uncuff this, get yourself several inches of extra length if you needed. For those of you who are on the shorter side and you want, you need to just cut them off, you don't have to hem this style. You can raw cut this and it won't fray. It'll just kind of stay like raw cut and curled and not fray. So if you need shorter, um, and that's the other thing is maybe you just want a little bit shorter, you can cut here too through the two pieces of the hem um, and it'll just be um, like just have a raw, raw cut edge right there. So. It does work to raw cut these, and it does work to extend the hem a little bit if you want a little bit longer length. I am in the normal, in a size small in the bottoms and extra small in the top. This is the size that I prefer. I can wear the extra small in the bottoms just fine, but I like the comfort. Just having this like loose, comfy, stretchy, the, the thighs aren't too tight. Usually the reason I'm not truly like an extra small is because of my hip and thigh. And so going down to the extra small, I just get a little bit more fitted through my thigh in the extra small, which in a loungy pat, pant, I don't need necessarily or want. So I stay in like my normal size, being between sizes, I like to go to the small in these. Okay, Allison, does that help? 
Um, no, the waistband is tacked down at three locations, the side, center, back, and other side, so it does not roll, does not flip over. Wash and care on these is super simple. They wash, dry, super, super easy. Um, just one of those styles, honestly, when you guys get this, you'll, you'll compare it a lot to um, just how much you love like our Modal pajamas. It kind of just has that weight, has that slinkiness and feel, though this does have the texture um, in the knit, which makes it feel just so great and so slouchy and have that kind of drape and hang on the body, which is great too. Okay. Um, Teresa, I don't know the inseams offhand, but definitely check the listing for that. They're um, on the info section of the info, sizing and info um, on the listing and you can scroll. I'm thinking it, it kind of varies a little bit by size. So definitely check your size. Okay. Um, so these are small on me. I can wear the extra small though. I think this with the extra small top, um, is perfection. Okay. <laughs> the two colors in that, and let's go on to, ah, the favorite button up top. We have been making, I'm just going to say favorite plaid because that's what I call it. We have been making this favorite plaid, favorite plaids. We've been making favorite plaids. Um, gosh, man, five, six, maybe even seven years now. Um, in all sorts of plaid color, plaid patterns, colors, colorways, styles. We've even done them in solids. And year after year, we keep coming back because when we say that they are a favorite plaid, they are truly a favorite plaid. And I just need to straight up call them Mel's favorite plaid because no joke, I have eight of them in my closet, probably closer to 10 um, of the plaid patterns, colors that we've made over the years. Um, this spring, we came out again with two new ones, two totally different styles. Here's, here's the thing. The best thing about favorite plaids is you get the look of a button up, but there's no sense of any sort of starchness, crunchiness, um, stiffness feeling. They are so soft and drapey. They have this great hang to them. Look at the texture in, can you see this kind of waffle-like texture? in um, the actual yarn. They're soft, they're drapey, they're slinky, they're slightly like relaxed fit that really make them so comfortable on the body. We make them extra, extra small to extra, extra large um, because some people, some people like to size down, some people like them to be way oversized, some people like them to be more fitted. I will say both of these this year fit a little bit less oversized than some of the styles in the past, and that's just due to the tension of the knitting. We wanted to, um, or not knitting, sorry, the woven, woven, <laughs> this is woven. Um, we wanted to make sure that this is tightly woven just so it wouldn't pull or pull at the seams or anything like that. So it does fit just a little bit slimmer. Some of you might not feel any difference, but if you have a style in the past, like I think we did a red and blue or uh, maybe it was like a like a berry color that was slightly sim slimmer as well. You might feel that a little bit if you size down a full size in these. So I would say between sizes can size down if you don't want it to be as oversized. If you normally size down a full size in these, you might feel a slight difference that these are just a little bit more um, true to size fit than being super oversized. Normally they're very super oversized. So you'll feel in these and I have both of them on, let me put the small on in this first. Okay, so two colors. Oh, I'll show you the colors before I put them on. This is blush and black plaid. And you'll see it actually has blue in here too. So we call this, we call this blush, but it's really like a taupe that has like a pink undertone, like a pink cast to it. So very, very, very slightly blush. And then the black lines, and then you have these little blue lines coming through here too. Just a little bit of like a slight dusty blue line coming through on those. And then this one's called the, what did we name this one? Multi window pane, which is really fun for spring. So on just like an ivory and then several colors coming through here. You have like a tan, a denim blue, a lighter blue, and then like a pink um, line running through this one, which is really fun um, for spring as well. So extra, extra small through extra large, um, or do we extra, extra, we do we extra, we do we do extra. Why don't I remember? if we make that an extra. Um, I can do a, I'm just gonna throw this one on for you. My launch day on camera changes. <laughs> Ignore my bottoms. Actually, you know what? I might stop off and put on jeans anyway. Okay, um, this one is, what size did I put on? I put on small in um, this one. So you can see, nice and drapey, relaxed fit. Just 
just gonna button it for you can see, so you can see, and I have extra small to put on as well. Um, it has the tabbed cuffed sleeves, so you can tab this and cuff it. Um, keep those up like this, tab it right there, and drapey, super soft, can knot it, can tuck it, can front tuck it, tie it around your waist <laughs> when you need it. I can tell you guys, I can safely tell you guys, um, I wear the, I wear a favorite plaid at least two times a week, if not three, and sometimes more than that. There is a reason it's called favorite plaid. It literally being the drapiest, softest, not too thick, not too thin, is that lighter wear that, that year round I wear these, okay? Whether it's in the winter and I need something heavier over it, whether it's the summer and I just need a layer for cold AC, that is how often I wear these, but don't take my word for it. Tell each other on here. I know many of you watching have multiple colors, multiple patterns, multiple of these in your closet as well, because once you have one, you can't go back. Um, you can't, you, you like ruin yourself for life. That's how great these things are, okay? Um, so Valerie, they are all the same feel. So they have all the same feel, they have all the same drape, they have all the same weight, they have all the same yarn, all of that is the same. This one just is a little bit tighter knit, making it not as slinky, which when it's slinky, it m makes it feel more oversized. Um, but like I said, some of you might not be able to even feel that at all or feel that difference, but this is the small on me. I'll put the, hold on, let's bring Taylor out in this. Taylor, you're gonna have to take the show. I have an extra small on and it's super cozy and comfortable and looks really well um, with these loggers and tennis shoes and I just have a cami on or a brami on underneath and yeah yeah I could probably do an extra extra small if I wanted a little bit of a tighter fit but this feels good on me for more of a over layer. <laughs> okay, there, that's better anyways. <laughs> okay, so she has extra small on, though I would say her true size is extra extra. So I might make her run upstairs and put the extra extra on so you can see that is her normal size because I don't think she needs to size up in this one. Um, she would be fine. Here's the thing, most people are going to be able to wear two sizes in this. <laughs> it's just going to depend if you like it more oversized or a little bit more fitted. So. Her normal size, extra small will fit her just fine. She just, or extra, extra small, she has the extra small on here and I have the small on here, but I can also put the extra small on for you guys as well, okay? Okay, question on this one. Extra small to extra large, there we go. Thank you for correcting me. Laurel says, I have all the plaids and all the styles. <laughs> um, someone's saying, is this QVC vertical mode? I'm not sure exactly what you're asking, but we are on a vertical camera, yes. Um, okay, and then this is the extra small in, the um, window pane one. So I don't know, you guys, I, is everyone in their normal size? Everyone's in their normal size in these. So I might be like, um, maybe thinking too hard, maybe <laughs> don't think too hard, unless you know that you're, you really in particular like these um, more slim or more fitted, then make your adjustment on sizes. Um, otherwise, just stay in the normal size that you have these. Okay, let's bring Missy on this. She's in her normal size small as well. Um, she's got Mel's favorite pair of sneakers on. This is exactly how I wear this. You can knot it up. You don't have to knot it up. It really gives you the versatility to throw this on if you want it to be the full shirt, button it all up. If you wanted to tie it up and make it a little bit more styled look, you can do that as well. So it really gives this nice drape feel comfy, stretchy, the material has stretch, a little bit of stretch in it, that just gives that comfort in everyday wear. Okay, normal size on her, and I'm an extra small now in this one. It does have, hold on one second. <coughs> um, it does have stretch in the material. A little bit of stretch and give, which makes it really, really comfortable on. So this is a stretch. Keen, if you're asking any stretch flannel coming, this is our stretch flannel, <laughs> our stretch plaid. It's not flannel because it's not heavy weight and brushed. It's the perfect light, transitional, lightweight, airy, drapey, nice lightweight layer, okay? Um, okay, let's bring out 
Man, who's ever next? <laughs> Natalie's next in this one. Um, she's got it slightly tucked in. She's got the jeans on that we're going to talk about in a second. But the styling on this makes, like I said, another one that makes getting dressed super easy and why I wear it multiple times a week because it's just so easy to throw on. Whether you button it all the way up, whether you put a tank or graphic tee under it, whether you dress it up, the window pane, both these styles can be easily dressed up with darker, clean jeans, non-distressed options. Um, look great for dressing these up as well. Okay, Natalie in her normal size medium. Michelle's in this in normal size large. Tucked all the way in, dressed with a black jean, elevates that look a little bit more. Little bit more to the dressier side. We tend to think of plaids as being super casual all the time, which they absolutely can be, can equally be with a graphic tee and be super casual. But the, t the tucking it in, adding a belt, putting a heel with it, makes it more of a, can make it more of a dressier option too. And she's in her normal size large. And then Amanda in this one, Kind of same thing, she's got the jeans on, she has the tank, wearing it open is a great option just to throw it on when those AC, when you want that extra kind of, I don't know, just nice, soft, stretchy feel on you when the AC is too cold or something like that. You know, it really gives this year round um, wearability to this style, okay? Yes, Robin, they do, our favorite plaids all have slight stretch in the material. It's not a ton of stretch, but it's just enough to make it um, flexible and very comfortable when wearing, okay? How do the shoulders of the favorite plaid fit, Melissa? My shoulders are completely fine in both extra small and small. You're not gonna have shoulder tension here. It's because it has stretch, it has that relaxed fit. There's no tension in these whatsoever. Um, they really have a super comfortable fit. Sizing down, you just will get a little bit slimmer fit, like through the bust and through the sleeve and through the arm, where small, where your normal size will give you like a nice drapey, relaxed, um, relaxed fit. So this is, this is small, that was extra small. This one, small in this one, um, gives you that just casual, loose, relaxed, flowy, throw it on, don't think a thing about it, maybe throw some sneakers on, I still have bare feet, but just, um, oh, you know what, I have my sneakers right here, I can throw those on. Okay, this is a look, this is my, this is my outfit of choice, um, multiple times a week, because I feel like I love having um, a layer, and I love when my layer isn't too thick, when it's like a nice, soft, drapey, drapey material. Okay, Robin says, is the waffle weave material? Robin, this is our favorite button up. It is in the same material that we always make it in. It has a slight waffled look to it, but that's just in the knitting. It's not actually a waffle. It's a nice, slinky, soft material. It just has this almost grid pattern, the way that it's woven. And that's also the way that the fabric has, that we're able for this fabric to have the slight stretch. So it's not waffle material. It just has a little bit of that look the way that it's woven. And, and you can see it, hold on, let me see if I can pull it up here too. You can see it here as well, that it's just kind of in the texture and the way that it's woven, but it's not a waffle style material. Okay, any other questions on this one? So in your normal size, nice, casual, relaxed fit, size small. I like mine to be oversized and relaxed. I like that it, like it's drapey, um, but honestly I've got, I have both smalls and extra smalls in my closet. I would say I'm mostly an extra small and these are mostly my preference. Um, but I, I, both are equally, non-tension, non non-just easy, drapey type of style. So this is extra small, which you can see, just sits a little bit closer to the shoulder, a little bit closer in the sleeve, but I still don't have like tension in here at all. Okay, so this was extra small. This one I had on was small for those of you asking. Okay, okay, any questions on this? Um, let's move on to the denim, our wide leg, our Premium wide legs, I think is actually what they're called. I've just called them wide leg premiums for my entire life, a little bit backwards. But these are back from last year. This was the first time that we did our premium denim a year ago, and they sold like hotcakes. I think we had an ad or a reel or something like that go viral in these. This is your type of denim that is like your comfy, relaxed, 
just feels super great on, has that thicker weight, okay, that's the thicker trend of denim is coming back in that classic, classic old school denim, but we add plenty of stretch in ours. Okay, so you get the look of the trend of that thicker denim. Those of you who don't aren't familiar with our premium denim, it is a nice, weighty, true classic denim, okay? When you think of like a classic non-stretch denim, but we add stretch to ours. So you get the look of that classic denim, but you have all the comfort in the stretch in these, okay? So last year, we made light wash and we did them in a distressed and a non-distressed. We brought back the distressed option only in the light wash, and then we added a mid wash this year. The mid wash in the distressed, which is just knee distressing, just like I have on, or the same color mid wash with completely clean, no distressing at all on those. Okay, you can see, let me bring one of these up for those of you who aren't familiar with our premium denim. You can see the twill and the graining a lot in this denim. That's what makes them that classic denim look. Um, but we add, oh, look at this. The stretch in here is what makes these so comfortable on the body because they're so stretchy. So a couple of things about these, they are the wide leg trend. So we're working on, you're working on hopefully with us, getting K, okay, getting used to the trends changing in denim from the skinnies, from the tight, tight, tight denim all the way down that we're all been very comfortable wearing the last what, eight years maybe, maybe longer than that. Um, Yes, longer than that, actually, M much longer than that. Anyway, the trend for the wider, looser leg is back and in the higher rise. So we did that with these, but like I said, gave you all the comfort in adding the stretch. So the wide leg isn't massively wide. It's the perfect, I would say, combination of a straight and almost a little flare and almost a little wide. It doesn't look, right? It doesn't look ginormous. It doesn't look like super wide coming all the way down. The break happens much lower for the, the wide part of being a wide leg, but it's that comfort, loose, nice, gives that, that looser leg fit that is in style right now that we're all kind of seeing and wanting to be. This is, if you're trying a looser leg or a wide leg for the first time, this is the one to try because it literally feels so great on the body. As far as sizing, we make these zero to 16, Okay, they have stretch. I would say, these do say, this is where you'll have to listen up if you have a pair from before, last year. I would say these do run about a half size smaller than last year. A lot of people sized down in these last year. Um, last year's, to be honest, you guys, I own at least, at least six, if not eight pairs of these, and I have both twos and fours from last year. In fact, ask anyone here what denim I've been wearing every day for the, <laughs> the whole month of January, the past three weeks. It is the premium wide legs. It is my favorite winter denim, hands down, because you can put it on, you can just throw it on and make an outfit. You do not have to think about it. You're nice and comfy, nice and stretchy, moves with you, stays put when you have them on, super flattering in the booty, okay, in the, in the fit, in the rise, in the stretch, like they're literally the perfect jeans. Um, they are my go-to in the winter. Favorite winter jean <laughs> add-down, which is why anyone here can tell you if they, when they see me come into the office daily, I, these are the jeans that I have on, okay? And you guys are agreeing. Um, Rise-wise, they are a higher mid. They're not a super high, they're not up at the rig cage, they're not totally at true, smallest point of true waist, but they're a nice, good, like right at, right under belly button. I don't, belly button varies for most, but higher mid, not super high, not low, not low mid, not, not, it's honestly the perfect, <laughs> perfect rise in these. Um, so I just wanna make sure on sizing, stay in your normal size in this. If you're between sizes, if you size down, let, let's start here. If you size down a full size last year from your normal size, you might not want to do that in this year's. So yes, they have a ton of stretch. Yes, they will relax a little bit with wear. This is my pair, my personal pair, size four that I've been wearing nonstop <laughs> for um, weeks now. So this is, 
this is, um, I prefer the four. Now, I do have days, sometimes I prefer twos. Most of the time I am a four in denim. In denim out in the world, I'm usually a four. Okay, so a lot of denim I can wear twos in, especially if it has stretch. Um, I prefer the fours in these. I do have some twos from last year where I preferred the twos a little bit more last year. This year I prefer the fours and that's mainly because that half size difference is um, the half size smaller when with just with how the production run of these being a half size smaller makes them just a little bit more more true to size I should say last year's were oversized were basically one size most people could size down a full size okay oh gosh you guys have questions <laughs> this is the waist on the wide link jean yes Bonnie the waist has really good stretch this is size four on me nice comfortable stretch in the waist Nice, comfortable stretch all the way down. And these do relax a little bit with wear. So when you put them on and they're a little bit snug, that's fine. They'll relax a little, little bit with wear, wash them per instructions, and they'll just tighten right back up to original size. So they do, they do relax a little bit with wear. Being a half size, a little bit smaller, they don't relax as, and they don't relax as much out as last year's, which is why a lot of people could size down a full size. So if you're between sizes and size down last year, you can size down, I can wear twos, but I like, the reason I like these jeans so much is because they're everyday comfortable. They're not tight, they're nice and relaxed. I feel like I can throw them on with a t-shirt, a sweatshirt, run and run at home, barefoot or whatever, a pair of sneakers, like they just, they're not to me like, Personally, they're not to me like a dressy form fitting where I like them snuck in, snu sucking me in, snug type of fit. I have those jeans for those reasons, like my date night jeans, my jeans where I wanna feel like snatched and sucked in, all that kind of stuff. These, I love the comfort everyday fit in these. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I feel like I'm talking way too much. Um, frozen here, oh no, I hope I'm not frozen. Um, Marie, yes, all of these, all of this year's production, which is what is on the website, except for there's there's like a handful left in size 14 and 16 of the light wash non-distress from last year. Everything else on our site fits about a half size smaller than last year's. Though, that being said, remember, the fabric does have a lot of stretch. So you, most people will, you know, honestly, here's the thing. Most people might not even feel the difference unless you're a full size downer. So if you're a between sizer, sizer, downer, you might not even feel that much difference, especially because it relaxes with wear. But if you were a full size size downer, like say you're always an eight, you never wear a six, and you go down to a six, you will feel them being more snug. So it's really just going to depend how you like them to fit. I can wear the two, the two is snug, it's a snatch me in feel for a two, even when it relaxes, it's still a snatch me in. I like the comfort and the fit of the four from this year. Hopefully that clears it up, okay? All of the inseams, all of the measurements are located on the listing on the website, on the premium line, like premium wide leg denim at graceandlace.com. You can check all those measurements. Let's bring the rest of the girls out so you can see. Okay, Taylor in her normal size zero, right? Okay, normal size zero on her. And everyone's putting these on for the first time, though I think a couple of us have been wearing these, the tar out of these <laughs> in the last four weeks, okay? But nice, great stretch, okay? She's comfortable, no, nothing's tight. It might start out snug. It might start out snug on you when you first put them on, but no, they relax comfortably. This kind of all fills and relaxes down comfortably without getting saggy. Nothing gets saggy and baggy, bagged out or anything like that. It just kind of conforms to the warmth of your body, kind of the shape of your body, and then that, that's like, oh, I can sit here and feel comfortable right here, okay? So normal size, you can dress, oh, you can dress these up. You can put heels with them. You can do flip-flops. You can do sneakers. I mean, honestly, I wear everything <laughs> with these. I do sneakers with them. I cuff them up and do flip-flops. I can do a heel and dress them up, but you can see she's got a little bit nicer, a little bit of outfit on, has have a heel with those as well, okay? Taylor is 5'6", right? 5'6"? Yeah. Mm. I have the four on, Jen. I have the four, which is my preferred size. And these are the four with me wearing them and me relaxing them out, which is my preference. So I love how these fit. I don't feel like they bagged out. I don't feel like they got um, like too loose. Like they don't get, they didn't get too loose. They don't get too relaxed. They stay, once they relax, they stay like, see how, you see how like it just relaxed like a little bit here at my hip. The waist is nice and comfortable. The booty looks fabulous, okay? And they just kind of stay there. So 
Does this help? Does this help you guys? I'm <laughs> helping you guys. Um, stay. I. How do I word this? If you were, if you sometimes are two sizes in our in in our branch. If you're sometimes are two sizes, I'm sometimes most of the time a four can sometimes be a two. I prefer to go to the four. I can wear the two, but like I said, and this is just recapping, I like this style of denim to be more of a everyday, no tension, nice, comfortable fit. I my twos on me are usually like a suck me in, nice and tight, you know suck it all, keep it all tight on me, where on twos, sometimes I'm having to unbutton at the end of the day, okay? That's my, my situation with twos, usually. I, for me, my premium wide legs, I don't want to fit like that. I want them to fit exactly like this, which is nice and comfortable, nice, like, don't, don't have any tension <laughs> anywhere, but still not bagging out. Like, I can't pull these, you can see, I'm not sloppy, I'm not bagged out anywhere, and this is relaxed on me. So I like to go to the four. However, I can wear the two. They just are that suck me in <laughs> type of a look on two, which just for my preference, I don't prefer. Okay, hopefully that helps. Let's, let's bring out the rest of the girls in these. Okay, Missy in these, and you're in your normal size this is an eight. eight, normal size eight. Is that the size you like, look by? So I could go either way. You could go to super size. comfortable. Okay, so normal size eight, she can be a six, in some of our styles, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, she can be a six in some of our jeans. She likes the eight and she's very comfortable fit in the eight. She probably could wear the six if she wanted to, if she wanted to be more snatched mm -hmm. and really using the stretch and really that suck you in type of a fit, she could do. But these have, like these look fat, will you turn around? Mm -hmm. These look fabulous on her. So she doesn't look like she's bagged out. She doesn't look too loose. She's not like gapping or really too loose at all in her normal size. So. We're staying in our normal size. We're staying in our normal size in these, which are really the perfect fit for your normal size. Where in last year they were really over. They were more towards the oversized size for a pair of jeans. Okay, questions. <laughs> okay, questions. Um, Taylor loves. Taylor can put on. She's she was zero in last year's and she's zero in this year's too. She's this year's zero is just a little bit. Um, she was would, would would have been a little bit looser fit in the zero last year, where the zero this year is a um, a better, more true to size fit on her. Okay, um, black is not coming in premium. No. Okay, Laurel, yes. Um, Missy did have when I pulled out her waist, she had comfortable stretch in her waist and not too tight in her waist in the eight for sure. Okay. Nope. Premium are not coming in black. Sorry guys. I <laughs> just this 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 color. Okay. Natalie and these normal size ten. Ten. Do you like this fit? What do you size yes. down? Okay. Like she likes these, and this is the first time. So she, um, they will relax a little bit, so she'll get a little bit more room. These aren't tight on her, though. These mm -hmm. look like they fit her in your room. Yeah, mm -hmm. she's got stretch in the waist, too. So perfect fit. She will get a little bit loose. She'll start to get, I've worn mine, so I'm starting, you know, got, I've, I've relaxed them to my body, but not bagged out, not sagged out, don't have a saggy crotch, okay? So those will stay very nice fit on her where she won't feel like in a little bit, she won't feel like, oh man, I wish I would have sized down. She would stay in her normal size. That gives her a perfect fit in her normal size, okay? Michelle in these. Michelle is also a big fan of premium wide legs. We're usually in them always at the same time, okay? And you're normal, wait, ten. what are you normal now? Ten. Okay, normal size 10, but you had the 12s last year, but that's gonna confuse everyone because she was different sizing last year, so we just won't go there. Normal size 10, she wears a 10 in all of our denim. These are the 10 on her. <laughs> we'll start there. All right, and then Amanda and these. Amanda's putting on shoes. All, Amanda's putting on shoes. All of the inseams are located, mm, all of the measurements are located on the listing. Put in premium, or just go to new, go to graceandlace.com, click on new and these will pop up and then go to info sizing and info and all the measurements for these are on there. Okay, Amanda in her normal size 16, yes. which is, she's also a fan of these. <laughs> she's, this is her, a jean that she always wears as well. So she's staying in her normal size. She feels like they, she didn't really feel a ton of fit difference, right? Yeah, not a ton. Not a ton. She said maybe she feels like a tiny bit, it. but not, not enough to make a difference. And that's why I'm saying I might be telling you guys too much info because because of the stretch they have, um, a lot of people might not even feel the difference in these, okay? 
Sizing compared to Mel's faves. So these are very different than Mel's faves. Mel's faves are one, the denim quality is completely opposite of these. Mel's faves denim is a thin, light denim that hardly has any stretch. This is a thick, classic denim that has a ton of stretch. So that's one reason it's hard to compare. I would say in general, the fit on these is going to be more true um, to, to size in the waist and the hip, slim through the waist and the hip in these than what Mel's Faves are. Mel's Faves is going to have a wider waist and, and more of a slouchy hip. So where um, I can wear, I have four, well, I mean, I can compare it this way too. I have at home in my closet, I've got both fours and twos in Mel's Faves and I have four days and I have two days. That's kind of the same way with these, though I much prefer the fours in these where I, I tend to lean to prefer the twos more in Mel's. Um, Mel's faves are going to be looser through the hip and a little bit looser through the waist. Hopefully that helps. Okay. Michelle is 5'11". Um, so she's tall, but she carries a lot of her height in her torso. So her inseam, you guys can check her inseam measurements online. Go to the um, measurement guide. On, scroll to the bottom of graceandlace.com, click on measurement guide, and you can click on Michelle, and you can see her in her measurements, her inseam measurements. So she's 5'11", but her um, she doesn't have super, super long legs. She carries a lot of her length in her torso, okay? Natalie was wearing her normal size 10. Um, how is it similar? Michelle, did you catch me explaining similar to Mel's faves? Um, Holly says, I can't decide between these and the cargo jeans. Oh, man. Um, very different, very, very different. The, car the new cargo jeans are very silky, very drapey. They are stretchy, but they're very lightweight denim that just has like a nice drape in hand. Those are also a straight leg. These are a wide, technically a wide leg. Okay, <laughs> sorry about that. We lost the internet, we had to shut down. We're restarting this um, where we kind of left off and then I'm recording it all so we can upload it again since we're having some, some internet difficulties. So we had left off talking about, we had pretty much finished talking about the wide leg premium denim. I think I got all of the fit questions, all of the um, questions answered on that that you guys had. We saw all the girls in that. So we're moving on to talk about the makeup bags. The makeup bag was a gift with purchase a couple of weeks ago with our Valentine's launch. And it actually sold out the gift with purchase and we had a lot of people on our VIP page ask if we will ever sell these. So we were able to bring a few colors in, actually more than we offered in the gift with purchase. Um, so the only color that is back, so these are now available for purchase. They're not a gift with purchase anymore. That, sold, that offer sold out, but they are back for purchase in four colors. This burgundy color is the same color that was offered in the gift with purchase. And then the new colors are this pink, black, Okay, and then like this beige, just really nice neutral color beige, black's neutral as well. So two kind of the burgundy and the pink color. For those of you who missed <laughs> the free gift of the purchase or just wanted to get one of these, let me just tell you, I personally switched over my makeup bag to this because it really is genius the way that it fits and displays everything. So it has the double zipper here. It opens completely up and lays completely flat. So you can leave this on your counter just like this with all of your makeup in it. Okay, it fits your brushes, it fits, it literally fits everything. It has a deeper, deep expandable or kind of stretchy pocket on this side. Side. It has two on this side and then the middle has a middle divider zipper pocket in the middle. So everything fits in this. This sits open on my, my counter like this. And when I need to take it with me, I close it up, I zip it up just like this. Everything stays put, it doesn't flush over to the other side, and then it has a carrying handle. The best thing is that it's this polyurethane in this like basket weave pattern, so it's completely wipeable. So if you did get anything on it, it's wipeable, and then it has that satin inside. The color on the inside is kind of just um, like on the burgundy, it's a satin color. On the pink, okay, it's like a kind of a, a pink color, black is black, and so on. On those, this just kind of has the coordinating inside. The inside does have this Velcro removal, re, re, a Velcro option right here, where this inside pocket does lift up. So if you have like a palette or something in that that's a little bit bigger than these pockets, it does give you room 
um, to put under, to lift that and put it up under. So these are available for purchase in the four colors. And now we are moving on to the Girlfriend Fit Freedom Graphic Tee in Freedom. Um, I talked about this a little bit in the beginning, but this tee, along with like four or five other products, were on a container, shipping here, and were deemed lost at sea, only to find out it was stolen. And so we lost all, everything. We lost all of that product. Not, cannot find it. They have no idea where it is, although we've been seeing it being sold on the black market. I knew I had to remake this one, and I remade the tea as well, because I feel like it is so fabulous. It's perfect. We were gonna relaunch this in the fall, but honestly, it's perfect for transitioning to spring. Let me show you the colors on this. So it's on charcoal, and then you kind of have this peachy color that transitions down to this muted pink down into the eagle and Victoria, our designer designed all, drew all of this by hand, okay? It has like the carpe diem, the eagle's kind of holding that um, coming across, but it has all that kind of peachy and then this grayish tone through here and a little bit of like this muted um, tan color going all the way around and then kind of has that sunburst effect. So this is our girlfriend fit graphic tee, which fits just like all of our other girlfriend tees. It is a long style, intended to be long because this is the style we love to wear over leggings, over biker shorts. I mean, really gives you the option to cover up, <laughs> cover everything, cover the booty and leggings, which makes it great. It's in our signature super soft, stretchy material, and we make it extra, extra small to extra, extra large. So I would say it's a relaxed, casual fit in your normal size, has great stretch. Some people like to size down, between sizes can size down. You don't really need to size, um, it's, a, it's a girlfriend fit, so it's a casual, relaxed, loose fit in your normal size. You don't really need to size up to get um, big or oversized, though you can if you want to, but it does have that nice long length. Let's bring the girls out in this one. Okay. So, tailor in what I love is the classic look for this tee. You get a little bit of that edgy vibe with the graphic. She's got it on with her leather like leggings, a pair of sneakers. She's got a baseball cap with it. It gives kind of that like, just kind of little bit edgy vibe, but so totally and perfectly on trend. And she's in her normal size, extra, extra small. So she's got that plenty of length front and back for coverage in a, in a pair of leggings or biker shorts if she wanted. She also could knot this or tuck it completely in or front tuck it as well, okay? So normal size, extra, extra small on her. Um, I wear the extra small in this, which is the size that I prefer, which is between sizes I go down, okay? And then Missy in this one, and you can see these are just a couple of different options of ways to style this. She put it with our um, baseball jacket, which brings out that pink kind of blushy tones, which feels totally spring. She has it on with our wide leg premium denim and a pair of boots just dressed up a little bit, but you can do sneakers, you can do flip flops. The options are endless with this and she's in her normal size small. And then Denise in this one. Um, and then I love this with the cargo. So looking from a distance, you really get the blend of colors in here. Rick works well with this natural kind of khaki color as well. So that's a great option. Pull in a cargo color on that and you have that kind of edgy tee and she's in her normal size medium. medium. Mm -hmm. And that, okay, and then Michelle in this. Another type of option, great look. You could do cut off shorts with this. She's got the, the mom jeans on with a distressed knee. Little bit of the edgy color, wash color on that. Also fits the vibe of that Freedom tee. She's in her normal size large. Um, she's just tucked in, in a little bit. You can pull it all the way out and leave it out. It's really a perfect fit tee for that reason, okay? And then Amanda. Amanda's got it on with our Tencel jacket, which is another great option. So you'll see, although there's color in this graphic, you'll see that there's a lot of neutral, like there's a really lot of neutral tones in this, which allow you to put other colors with it as well. And she's in her normal size, um, extra large, okay? Leave it out, tuck it in, front tuck it, knot it up. You have all kinds of options with that one. If you don't love the extra length, you can, you could raw cut this off, it won't fray. So if you wanted something cropped or shorter or something like that, you could raw cut this off at your own custom length um, and it would still be really cute that way too. Okay, although I love the longer length, especially with thinking towards spring and like biker shorts and leggings and things like that. Okay, let's go on. Finally, I feel like, I feel like my voice is going mm, to our famous belt bag that we have been making. This is our fifth time making these. 
cannot keep them in stock. Our VIPs have asked us for every color. And so we came back in a big way and made four colors launching in this bag. It might be our last time making these because we have all the offering for it right now. Okay, so the colors we did, I'm gonna show you that first, then I'm gonna talk about what is so genius about this bag. Black is restocked. This is the same black that we've made year after year, time after time, I think our fifth time, fourth or fifth time making this. Um, it's black and it has that like antique brass features, pulls on this um, metal that is restocked. And then all of the other colors are new. So we have gray, which is a nice, basic, easy gray. Um, and then the gray has silver hardware, like a brushed, um, a brushed silver hardware on it. We have olive, which is a nice, basic, neutral. Um, all these colors are like, all these colors aren't fashion colors. These are all like wearable neutrals, whether you're hiking, on the go mom, just something to grab with you. They're all absolutely wearable, though offering a little bit of color with an outfit too sometimes. And here's the olive. The olive has um, the brushed bronze color hardware as well. And then, uh, the last color, which is navy. And the navy has the antique, or the brushed silver um, metal accents in this one. Okay, now, what makes this belt bag so awesome is a couple of things. One, when belt bags became a thing, okay, I looked at them and I saw, wow, great idea to have all your items cross body sitting close to you um, at hand's reach. And then I thought, I'm a mom of three. I carry a big giant bag because I need all the snacks, all the things, my wallet's huge, I have gift cards, credit cards, money, my kids need toys, they need snacks. I mean, I, have, I, I want to love the idea of that little tiny small Lululemon thing that sits here on your chest and has a big zipper, but I'm like, not practical for me. <laughs> I can't fit what I need, my phone barely fits in there, and when I do unzip it, stuff is gonna fall out, and plus I can't adjust the size to where I want it. So. I solved that problem by designing the bag that's perfect to carry all the things that I need, but still at a hand's reach. And that's what this belt bag is. So one, it comes in two different strap options. Extra small through medium is one strap size and then large, extra large. They are based on you being able to wear it in those size categories, um, crossbody like this, or actually as a belt bag around a just adjust to around your waist, okay? So if I were to cinch this all the way up to fit um, around my waist as well. So you will want to choose your size based on that if you want to be able to wear it both ways. If you, hold on, just plan to carry it crossbody, you might want to size up in your strap, strap size. So I'll show you. This is the extra small through medium strap size. And, or wait, no, hold on, hold on, maybe not. Let me find that, let me find that strap. Okay, here's the two different strap lengths. This is the large, extra large. So I can extend this all the way out and get this to hang really low, like as more of a crossbody purse type of a way. However, I can't make this size tight on me to wear around the waist. So I would stick with my normal strap size, which is a extra small through medium, which is this strap, if I wanted it to, um, to be able to wear it crossbody, or wear it around my waist. If you know that you're only gonna wear it crossbody, then you might want to, um, I just realized I threaded this through wrong when I pulled that. Then you might want to size up in the strap length. Okay, now I'm gonna show you on the gray because it's easier to see the inside. I wanna show you all what this all can hold. So, this is stuffed full. In fact, there's actually more room in here and things that I could carry. But I wanted to show you where you can also adjust this. So if you wanted to wear it like across your chest higher, if you wanted to drop it a little bit lower, this is the extra small small, and you can see like dropped all the way down, extra small through medium. I, I get to where it kind of sits at hip, but not much lower than that. I like to wear mine about, right about here is where I 
like mine to sit. I feel like it's easy at hands reach and kind of sits there. So large pull straps on here. We made them big, easy to grab so you can be doing something with this hand and just reach around and open this. You don't need two hands to open it, which makes it totally fabulous or to close it. So it makes it so easy just to grab and pull. Now look what's in here. I actually don't even know what's in here. Um, dry shampoo, a hair clip, a wallet, a phone, sunglasses, AirPods, okay, and it still has room. So it can fit all of this stuff, plus that's just the main pocket here at the top. It can fit that at the top, but you have this pocket below it as well. This is where I've put, I took this to Disney, you guys, and I had, I had snacks in here. I had two rain pachos in this big pocket. I had, um, I had meat sticks. I had bars. I had so much stuff in this thing. It wouldn't be, really, it fits a full size water bottle. Plus it can fit diapers and wipes. Okay. It really can complete everything. This, you can do your chapsticks, your lipsticks, your lip pencils, um, small lotion, a lotion bottle can fit in there. My favorite pocket is this one on the inside. This is actually where I put my phone. So the phone can fit in this main pocket up top. Hold on. I like to keep it separate from my sunglasses and all that, and I like to drop it right in here next to me. And it fits perfectly down like that. You could have it, you could do it like this, it'll stick out a little bit at the top, but it fits completely in where you can zip it up at the back. That's my favorite place to put it. Plus, in addition to those pockets, there's a privacy pocket here on the inside as well. I'm gonna take all this stuff out of here. Right here on the inside, there's another pocket right here. So this can open and you can put whatever smaller things that you need to keep track of in there as well. So the colors on that are the black restocking. This is the new gray. They all have, you can see the color hardware differences between the gray and the blue having the um, silver hardware and the olive and the black having the um, antique bronze hardware. And then strap size based, go with your sizing, like your normal size, if you're extra small, small, medium. Do that if you plan to wear it around your hip and your waist as well. If you um, are only going to wear it crossbody and you know you want more crossbody length, um, then size up in the strap length. You get to choose your strap length um, based on um, which you select online. So those are all available now and that is it. So signing off, you can watch the rest of the first part of the live where I wasn't frozen. Um, that will be published on our site. This right now is gonna be published separately, which was the last few items that I didn't get to talk about in the launch. So if you wanted to watch the rest of the launch, hop on over to our Grace and Lace page um, and click on videos there, or you can go to YouTube as well, and you can watch that first part of everything, everything that we launched, I don't know if you can see all that, everything that we launched today back there is on the first part um, of this, and this is the part two, the recorded version, because of the um, freezing. So, okay, um, signing off, we will see you, have a great Friday, great Western weekend. I'll see you um, next weekend, no, next Friday, next Friday. I'm gone next week. I'm visiting all of our factories um, in Las Vegas next week, but um, we will have a live and a launch on Friday. Um, so we will see you then. Bye-bye.